let's go over another proof or theorem. It'll be theorem 1.016 and it's going to say that the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. I haven't defined angle sum yet. I'm probably not going to be doing a video on that. That's just the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle. We'll have the proof for that here. We'll say that given a triangle ABC, let's draw that down here. This is going to be a little bit bigger drawing than normal. We need to prove that this is 180 degrees. Hopefully that's enough space and I don't have to squish things together too much. I do want to make sure you can see this triangle. We'll say let L be a line through B and it needs to be parallel to the line AC. Parallel to AC. So that'll be L. And then we'll extend these just a little bit so we can have a line. And we can say that by alternate interior angles. Actually, let's not go for that way. Let's start out by labeling some of these things. We'll say this is angle one. This will be angle two. We'll have angle three down here. Angle, angle four will be down there. And angle five will be this big one between these. So that's angle five. We can say that by angle addition, axiom, angle one, plus measure of angle, well, need another angle. We'll just call this one angle B. Angle one plus measure of angle B, or measure of angle one plus measure of angle B equals measure of angle five. I'm going to say that by the supplemental angle axiom, by the supplemental angle axiom, measure of angle five plus measure of angle two equals 180 degrees. Then measure of angle one plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle two equals 180 degrees. All we've done is substitute something out there. And we can say that, uh, actually let's spell this out. Since angle three is congruent to angle one, put that in parentheses, and angle four is congruent to angle two, 
because they are alternate interior angles and L is parallel to angle or er, not angle parallel to line AC then measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle 4 equals 180 degrees then we can say that measure of angle A well let's solve it that way what actually yeah we'll do it that way measure of angle A because 3 was the same thing as A measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C equals 180 degrees could have stopped one step earlier but I want to make it very clear that this all adds up to 180 degrees